Hi Robin with OxyDry and uh, if you've been watching my videos for a few years you're probably going hey I recognize that <laughs> I've been here many times over the years um, and we'll, I'll do another video in a few minutes we will talk about this this carpet a little bit more but I've got something I want to show you I just finished this cleaning this area that I'm walking on and uh, I'm gonna show you guys something uh, I had a thought occur to me and I a little surprised that I never thought of this before but uh, this is really interesting thought regarding the uh, way that we clean uh, I never it never occurred to me before hello, hello. About you guys, yeah it's only me <laughs> doing my thing yeah. anyway I did this uh, lobby area as well so I've done not so much I've done already and what I did of course I pre-vacuumed everything it was the uh, incredible Hoover Conquest um, and then I did this area I ran over it first with a hog's hair fiber pad and then I'm using an Ironman pad so we're going to go and take a look at that in a sec and I've got something I think really interesting to talk about here uh, this never occurred to me before and it's just kind of blew my mind when I thought about it so I'm shower feeding which is what I usually do um, I did pre-spray this area here I've got my um, Ryobi little thing bobber there. It works works fantastic, and I've got suspend in there. And I just sprayed the lobby area because it's always a, a real um, disaster. <laughs> but you know, it's interesting. This carpet, this the carpet is about 19 years old now, and the pile gets f just f right flat. But it's all standing up. And you know, re the reason it's standing up is because when you use a hard hogs hair fiber pad and other fiber pads as well um, or a brush the rotary is so incredibly effective at pulling the lifting the pile up I know people say that it flattens it but there you go here's a just carpet that was literally flat now it's all puffy and standing up because I just cleaned it and the rotary didn't leave it flattened it lifted it so let's go over here and I want to show you something over here now as I mentioned I've been shower feeding this is the pad I've been using, and it's dry. It's dry from about here, all the way across. Just just the outer edge is wet. That is perfectly, uh, the, the, exactly what you want to see. And that's just, because when people shower feed, usually the mistake they make is they apply too much solution and they end up with the pad soaking wet. And that's not what you need. And this is just showing you, that you saw how much I cleaned, and the only area that it's wet is on the edge, which is perfect. Now there's the soil I picked up, which for the area that I cleaned really isn't a lot, which isn't, doesn't surprise me. I clean this carpet on a regular basis and uh, I'm using Bonnet Pro Revive Rocket, which is an encapsulator and it's got a built-in protector. So the carpet really um, resists soiling and resists soil sticking to it. I think it certainly needs a clean and this carpet, this building is a very busy building. Uh, so it does need a regular clean. I'm here every year. Been at it for I guess about 15 years. But now I want to just talk about something which it just occurred to me. And I, I, it's funny, I, I never popped into my head before, but I was cleaning away and I was thinking about what I was seeing on the carpet and with the with the rotary and all. Now I'm using my 300 RPM, which means it works out to about three, or pardon me, nine passes per second on the carpet. And uh, a, a 175 is about three passes per second. It's like, okay, it's much faster. But I realized, you know, let's just say, for example, I go over this spot right here beside the, the pad. Now the pad is turning, it's actually turning that way. And that spot, the end of my finger, which is about the size of a pencil re eraser, when that edge of the pad touches it, that edge of the pad is going to as it goes as I go over the carpet I probably I figure that I probably end up on a spot for like two to four seconds normally somewhere in there I could slow down if I want to but just say an average two to four seconds so for about two or four between two and four seconds nine times per second but then the next quarter inch nine times per second and the next nine times per second and the next nine times per second the next nine times per second all the way up across this pad 
And of course, when we get to this side, as I'm moving across the carpet, this, you know, moving the machine, say, to the left, when we, and of course, that, that's going in this direction on the iron, and then when we go over here, nine times per second, nine times per second, but only this, now we're going this direction. But you see how this is multiplying the number of passes per second on the carpet. And if you're using a 175, that's three times per second. That's still a tremendous in the amount of times that you're going over the, that one specific spot on the carpet. And then you maybe overlap a little bit. You know, you see you're, you're right here, but the next pass you, you've pulled it back and you're maybe, uh, you, you know, the center of the pad is over here instead of here. And then you're going over it again. Again, multiply it across the carpet. And of course, that front edge now is going that way. And, and as you go over that area, you're moving forward and uh, this side is going this way. So you're doing 360 degrees cleaning passes on the carpet fiber. You're coming at it, the arm from every direction, but it's not simply that one spot gets nine passes. It gets nine times, many times, actually. And that's why it works so incredibly well. You know, people say that the rotary is so simple and archaic and primitive and everything. Well, okay, it is, but it's doing an awful lot on the carpet. We have to remember that. Um, and uh, so whether or not you're using a, a 175 or, or a 300 RPM, which I'm using today, you actually end up going over that carpet many, many, many times. And the other thing about it is, as I go over the carpet, now if you can see it on this area here, you can see the carpet. Hello. Hello. Give me a sec. <laughs> uh, but as we go over, going over the carpet, as the pad goes over the carpet, it's going to lay the yarn over and be constantly moving the, uh, the, the pad across the carpet, pulling from the bottom of the fiber wherever it reaches and in one continuous motion in that direction and then in that direction as you go over it and then in that direction as you go over it and in that direction as you go over it so there's a constant you know the actual number of times that one specific spot on the carpet gets passed over from 360 degrees is tremendous like it's not nine times per second it's nine times this entire area per second 360 degrees and that translates into tremendous cleaning power and that's why the rotary works incredibly well and of course the OP is doing that as well only in a different way I'm not saying it's not doing a great cleaning anyway but um, I'm just pointing out that the rotary is actually doing an awful lot more cleaning passes on the carpet than we realize and I j it just occurred to me that uh, we've got, I've never heard anybody say this before so Anyway, there's some food for thought. So uh, there you go. Discuss. <laughs> I'll let you go. I gotta go back to work.